Okay, when we do these distraction kicks, it's really important that we're making sure we contact in exactly the right place. Just a little slap to the outside of the leg probably isn't going to do enough for us. So we want to start moving our opponent as much as we can just from this small kick. So the angles of attack for me are from the hip to the centre of his legs. It doesn't matter if he changes his stance. From here, I'm on the hip, I'm going all the way down on that thigh to the centre. If I go back up, you'll see where the nerve parts are. If I can control those nerve parts from here, if I hang on to it this time and we're in there, you see he really reacts to it. And that's what we're looking for when we go for this distraction kick. So that was in a static stance. If he takes a fighting stance, you can see that it just changes it, but it's still the same place. This is the middle of the stance, this is the hip. So if I work from the outside all the way up, you can see there we're getting the control. So when I throw this kick now, if he stands there in his fighting position from here, I'm trying to come into the inside. I could come up higher. I don't want to go for the groin. It's too soft and it moves around too much. But if we identify the nerve points on the inside of the thigh, we're going to get a good reaction. 